So the Elite 47 AJ Styles is pretty much garbage. I mean, looking at it this way, it doesn't even look too bad because the head scan is simply phenomenal. But once you take off the vest, you pretty much realize how bad of a figure this is. Now, looking at this torso, it is way, and I mean way too skinny for AJ Styles. This is more like a James Ellsworth torso or something. It definitely would not work for AJ Styles. Now, look at all the chest and stomach hair that he got going on. I don't think once in his career AJ had that much chest and stomach hair. It is just way too much. Now, Mattel didn't even bother to give it knee pads, uh, which is absolutely mind-boggling. Why give the figure knee pads, right? It will cost extra money. Then they could have easily thrown in an opened elbow pad, but they didn't. Now, those elbow pads are kind of rare, but for Mattel, of course, it was really easy to reproduce the Bret Hart elbow pad that they had going a while ago. And the main problem I have with this is that the torso and the legs are way too skinny. We had the same problem with the Seth Rollins Elite figures, and I kind of got adjusted to that, but for AJ, it just doesn't work at all, in my opinion. So I already had a custom AJ Styles body waiting for the Elite 47 hat, because you guys know I'm a huge AJ Styles fan, and I already thought on the pictures that this AJ Styles might not do it for me, so now, for the first time ever on the YouTube channel, we're going to take a look at my custom Elite AJ Styles. And right now you might be looking at the favorite figure I have in my collection. This custom AJ Styles is just mind-blowing. I did post about it on Instagram a few days ago, and I guess we're like over 700 likes on this already, which is pretty insane. And it just shows us that a lot of people are not satisfied with the Elite 47. And in the comment section I saw that a lot of people are unhappy with the parts used on the Elite 47 AJ Styles. And a lot of people also said that this AJ Styles right here blows the Mattel version out of the water. So I would say let's take the vest off and take a closer look at it because it is absolutely insane. Now here we have the AJ Styles figure and you see the torso used here is so, so much better for AJ Styles. And that is actually a Sin Cara torso and it just works so beautifully. It is really damn awesome. Now he got his chest and stomach hair but as you can see it's not exaggerated like on the Elite 47. And just look. The torsos in comparison which one works better for AJ man that elite 47 torso is freaking garbage man freaking hate it now the head scan of course is from elite 47 and like I said I uh, praised that head scan a lot already it is really awesome especially for being the first AJ Styles head scan Mattel ever made they did an incredible job on that so those are the dates all of his kids were born and now it has the um, birthday of his daughter added on there with a little butterfly like he wears it now. It looks really great, really great to have it updated. And let's take a look at the gloves as well, it's really detailed, it says styles right here on the other side as well. I'm just still mind blown by this figure because it's so awesome. Elbow pad, we had to use a regular elbow pad as well because the Bret Hart elbow pad is just so rare and um, yeah. But on our version here, we got the P1 logo as well, so that makes it look a lot more like AJ Styles elbow pad that he wears right now. And now the whole attire is based on the triple threat with Cena and Ambrose and he also wore that again on SmackDown Live in the three-way with Dolph and uh, Corbin which was really awesome I really did enjoy that match a lot and on the side here he has the club logo which is looking really awesome and on the other side he got the P1 logo phenomenal one 
and also it has knee pads it wasn't too hard to add knee pads to this figure i still have no idea why mattel did not add those then on the kick pads it says phenomenal and here it got the big red one which is really awesome uh, let's take a look here from the back again this is just totally insane in my opinion it is one of the best customs i have ever featured here on the channel and i'm so glad that this is not going anywhere because it's staying in my personal collection as a huge aj styles fan i'm so glad to have a decent and great looking version of aj styles instead of this awful looking elite 47 figure and even with the wwe championship it looks even better it's so awesome i really i really do enjoy this so much and let me know guys what you think of this custom aj this might be the best custom i've ever seen in my life i just totally love it so much and i mean look at this the elite 47 is like no comparison to that i mean i've also preferred the attire which is not really mattel's fault Look at that, it's way too skinny, man. It is so bad, the torso. Oh, man, I'm really disappointed with this, AJ. And I'm so glad I decided to have this custom body waiting uh, to swap the other Elite 47 head on it. I hope Mattel will change the torso, the whole body for AJ Styles for future Elite releases. Otherwise, I just gotta buy a couple AJ head scans and buy different custom attires for him because this is how an elite AJ Styles should look to me incredible customs if you want to support us there are still some customs available on our eBay page unfortunately this one is not available this is going to stay with me this is not going anywhere luckily but yeah still some customs available on the eBay page um, I think we have a couple more coming up really soon. Also, don't forget to check out the GCW Network. The GCW Royal Rumble is coming soon. And you never know. Maybe you see this AJ Styles right here in action already on that show. So I think that will be absolutely incredible. As always, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next one.